Well, Mark, how tough was that situation today then when, you know, he's a frame away and you've got a mountain to climb? Uh, not a lot of fun, to be honest. Uh, I've never had to experience that before and hopefully not again. But, yeah, it's, it's a really weird mindset. No one, like, I've never given up my life, but mentally I had nothing left today, uh, which is probably understandable given you know, how poor I was yesterday and how far behind I was. But hopefully something I'll never have to go through again. It's not I did prep really knowing that the inevitable's coming and you have to try and make a fight of it, but I didn't have much left today at all. It's definitely not like you to give up, and I'm sure you didn't after, after the first session even. But, I mean, why do you think that it just wasn't happening out there for you, this match? Uh, I think, if I'm honest with myself, I think I got away with it in round one. Uh, my form's been like that for a while now, and I can't put my finger on why. I've been practising really hard, prepared as well as I could do, just haven't been playing well in the last couple of months. Uh, and as I say, I think I got away with it in round one, and obviously against someone in Ronnie's class, you're not going to get away with it, uh, and that's no disrespect at all to Scott, but yeah, I was just frustrated yesterday because I feel like, look, I've played Ronnie before, and you literally don't get a shot, you don't see a ball, and see if he's that good, he pots all the long ones and he scores, and you go away sometimes thinking, am I a snooker player, because that was just ridiculous, but I didn't feel like that yesterday. I felt like I had more than enough chances to be in the match, 12-4, Probably on another day's eight all. I had I missed a straight green, a straight pink, and an easy red uh, just to highlight three. And I was like glaring, glaring chances when it was like 30, 40, 50 in front. You now if I win those three alone, that's nine seven, and suddenly it's game on. But yeah, that was the frustrating thing. I, d I didn't feel like as much as Ronnie did play well. I felt like it was coming from my errors. I, I didn't feel like he was outplaying me in any way. Uh, so that's the biggest frustration because I felt like I was creating chances. I'm just not taking them and that's not like me, you know, normally in the balls I'm pretty clinical, don't miss too many when I win and yeah, I just was a bit all at sea yesterday and against the very best in the world, you know, you get found out. Mm. So what do you think you need to go back and, and work on then? Or do you need to take a break? Uh, oh, who knows, a, a break could be good, working on stuff could be good, who, who really knows, but look, yeah, if I knew what I was doing wrong here, I would be changing it long before now. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like I prepare really well for the World Championships every year. Uh, I up my practice before it and do long, longer hours, longer matches in practice and you know, try and do the right things off the table too. Uh, just hasn't worked for me yet, but I'll keep plugging away, keep trying. I know I've got the game to win any tournament I enter, but just haven't found that secret recipe for Sheffield yet. But look, I'm still relatively young in sticker terms now. It's not like a young man's sport anymore. Uh, so I've got plenty of time, but I just I need to change something, but I'm not quite sure what I need to do just yet to change the trend but some maybe have to have a chat with people that are sort of more experienced and sort of what to do to do well here so just to pick their brains and maybe see if I'm doing something wrong that I don't even know that I'm doing because if, as I keep saying I feel like I prepare well just haven't, haven't produced. Mm. What are your plans then when you go back home? Uh, just family time really put the queue away for a little bit uh, got a couple of exhibitions booked in over the summer uh, just take it easy, really. I think it's a really quiet calendar, snooker-wise, you know, until middle of September, I think. So, yeah, there'll be plenty of time to dust off the golf clubs and uh, shoot a few more big scores uh, and just take my mind off snooker a little bit. Things have been going really well for me in the last few months off the table, so hopefully that continues the trend in the coming months and look forward to next season. But still plenty to work on, as always. Well, I wish you all the best. Thank you.